Back in October of 2016, I decided I was going to walk every single street in the city of Minneapolis and record the experience through data, maps, photos, and written reflections. So it's a project that exists both in the act of me walking the streets as well as in the documentation that comes from the walks. When I came up with the project, I set myself some rules to follow while I was doing it. Only walk along streets with sidewalks. I must start each walk with the intention of it being part of the project. I am allowed to walk with a utilitarian purpose, such as going on an errand. I have to record the route, the length, and the duration of the walk. I'm allowed to stop on my walk for whatever reason I want. I'm allowed to take whatever form of transit I need to get to a walking location. I am allowed to walk with other people. And the last thing is that I have to walk and not run or jog. Some of the main differences between the neighborhoods, I think, is most evident in how they're used and who uses them. And I mean that both in terms of who lives in the neighborhood or who comes to the neighborhood to work or to shop and so forth, but also even just some simple things like topography. And then architecture. I've started thinking of Minneapolis kind of like the, like the rings on a tree, like the closer you are to the historic center of the city, downtown, and the older the buildings are and the further and further you get out from the center, the newer and newer the neighborhoods and their houses are. I've gained a few insights from the project, one of which is a new sense of scale. So I don't think of it as a city that's large or small anymore. It's exactly as large as it is because I've experienced in my body how big it is. I just know what size it is in a way that comes from moving through it rather than just looking at it. The project has also complicated my idea of the city. I used to think of Minneapolis in sort of shorthands, like think of Minneapolis, think of the downtown skyline, or think of Spoonbridge and Cherry. And now I have so many reference points in my mind of what Minneapolis is and what it looks like. You know, it looks like a little craftsman bungalow and it looks like a weird bench that's shaped like a banana split next to a Dairy Queen. The image of Minneapolis is so multifaceted to me now, I can barely wrap my head around it as a single, as a single idea. My work is very centered on the idea of place. I would love people to take away the idea that they can question and examine for themselves how they think about a place. You know, you might have a sort of idea of what a place is about that comes from your experience or from reading about it or watching TV or just even looking at a map. And the reality of any place is that it's way more complicated than a single source can ever reveal. So I hope people look at my work and want to apply that lens of examining and questioning the definition of place to their own lives. Mm -hmm.